Hello friends! So far, PTR 2.4.2 has looked pretty lame compared to previous seasons. However, this afternoon, Wyatt Cheng, senior technical game designer for D3, dropped a pretty big bombshell on the PTR forums. The four-player group dynamic is being ripped apart. Blizzard wants to, finally, get rid of the one DPS3 support meta that has been plaguing Greater Rift for far too long now. The post covers a few other times in the past where they have tried to breathe life into an otherwise stale end game. And, more importantly to me, they have defined interesting and engaging gameplay. One, it's more interesting and engaging if you are moving occasionally than highly stationary. Yeah. Two, it's more interesting and engaging if you have to adapt to the type of monster you're fighting. Absolutely. Three, it's more interesting and engaging when you're playing the monster mechanics. Ah, uh, yeah, as long as the mechanics aren't dumb. Four, it's more interesting and engaging when a group has to coordinate for maximum benefit. Uh, for sure. Well, to be honest, I don't particularly enjoy the team aspect that is a standard endgame D3 parties nowadays. If I wanted that, I'd be playing an MMO or a MOBA. That being said, the current endgame content is remarkably boring, so, oh yeah, spice it up. So first up, some of these changes, we got Twisting Sword is definitely going to be getting nerfed, probably into Oblivion. And if you don't know, the past seven months have been all about throwing tornadoes into a corner while everyone else is virtually invincible waiting for stuff to die. Good riddance. Second, some classes' uh, party-wide damage buffs are going to be altered significantly because they're just too strong right now. Third, crowd control and pull effects are going to be adjusted so it is harder to pull monsters to a single point. This is great overall, but I hope it doesn't muck up single player too much since that's what I enjoy playing most. And fourth, Blizzard wants you to, quote, respect monster damage. Thus, overall healing is being drastically lowered. Wyatt goes on to say that some solo builds will be affected, but they are trying to target group play first and foremost. They also expect the highest rift tier to be lower than the current season. Sadly, he says the request to buff particular class sets or legendary items will probably not be addressed at the current time or for the current PTR. White also says that the reduction to group buffs is severe. People are going to be shell-shocked. Oh, shell shock. He signs off by saying Diablo 3 is intentionally too complex for them to figure out optimal strategies on their own, and they require the community to help them out. He was hoping they keep listening to everyone's suggestions. Overall, these changes seem pretty promising, and I'm really looking forward to see how they make the gameplay more involved and interesting. So until next time, guys, talk to you later.